you from Geeky's Business School. Let's see what they have to offer us. Let's give her a big round of applause. Good morning, everyone. Happy to see you. How are you today? Fantastic, fantastic. I'm quite excited because I recently have been to your school and we can meet again, this time virtually. Uh, so the idea of today is to explain to you about uh, who is your business school and, and then also obviously uh, to answer any questions you might have today, okay? Anyway, I will share my contact details at the end in case that you want to ask me anything later on, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to share my screen, okay, so I can explain you more in detail everything. One second, please. Okay, so I'm sharing my screen. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So, okay, so your business is cool. Uh, it's a uh, institution that it was founded in 1973. The idea it was to deliver uh, education for future business leaders and entrepreneurs. Okay, uh, here you see that we have different campuses and some pictures of uh, our students. So who we are, uh, we are providing what is uh, Swiss values, what it means uh, the key principles for business today what it means, uh, integrity, accountability, commitment, and entrepreneurial. About the international, international mindset is that we want to provide a global perspective uh, for our students. So any knowledge, any experience that you will receive, you will be able to apply in any part of the world. This is something very important for us. We look a lot for diversity. We have between the students and the faculty over 100 nationalities. So this is very important nowadays in business and more because everything is getting more and more digital, right? Mm -hmm. About pragmatic approach, uh, you will be uh, having classes uh, with real cases, business simulations. You will be feeling that, feeling that you are in a company. Also part of our faculty are business leaders, entrepreneurs, okay? So they are facing uh, to take decisions every day. So the idea is that you become more assertive, okay? Because obviously nowadays to be successful in business, you need to take the right decisions, right? So very important. So where are we located? We are in Barcelona, Spain, where I'm based, Geneva, Switzerland, Munich, Germany, and online. Ha has any of you, have, have you been in, in Europe before? Yes. Okay. So you can share with your with your colleagues uh, what is Europe about. So the campuses are placed in three vibrant and dynamic cities, also business hubs in Europe. And Barcelona is well known because it's located in the Mediterranean. It's the home of the startups and creativity. Then we have Geneva, that is the home of international banking, diplomacy, and luxury goods. Also very important fact is where the sports uh, headquarters are located, okay, if you are interested in sports. Uh, then it's Munich is the powerhouse 
of uh, Germany. It's also a technological center, green smart city. And then we have the online campus already for 10 years that allows the students uh, to study around personal and professional commitment, commitments uh, from anywhere in the world. So here you can see our Barcelona campuses. Okay, I'm going to play quickly a video. So you can see a bit in the meantime that I'm talking. So we have two campuses in the heart of the city. Here we have around 1,400 students. Uh, we have a study rooms, record room, library. It's very near from embassies, financial district. Also, you love football. It's very close from the uh, football club Barcelona. What is the Camp Nou? And it's, uh, and it's a city where it's a uh, top five for startups in Europe. We have around Sorry, you have around 1,800 startups. It's considered the fourth for innovation in Europe. We lead also uh, global tech events like the Mobile World Congress, the Small City World, and it's considered the seat uh, for study abroad worldwide. So if you are interested to live in a very vibrant city with so many things to do, this is the perfect location for you, okay? Then we have uh, Munich uh, Geneva campus, sorry. Uh, here we have around 350 students. Uh, it's located in a very diverse uh, city, over 40 nationalities. So as you see, it's a very cosmopolitan place to live. Um, here you will find out only five minutes away uh, the fund of uh, the vote that basically what it, it does is, is oxygenating the lake, okay? Here you will find out the highest average salaries in Europe. It's very well known also for innovation and is the second most competitive economy in Europe. So as if you are interested about uh, diplomacy, finance, innovation, so this is the place really to study. Okay, then let's continue. Now we have uh, Munich campus. Here we have around uh, 750 students. The campus is centrally located too. Is surrounded by green parks and is located in front of the Oktoberfest Park. Uh, it's considered, it's going to become the next silicon in Europe. Okay, a lot of tech companies like Apple, Siemens, Samsung are investing there. Okay, um, so it's also very good about employment. They have really low employment unemployment rate, only 3%, and it has really good uh, life quality. So I would recommend you also, if you are interested in, in technology, to study there, okay? Then let's continue. We have, uh, as I was saying, the online campus. Uh, we, it was founded in, in 2012. We were able, when the pandemic started, to transfer all our students to the online campus. We have also faculty from everywhere. It's very intuitive, it's really easy, and really, uh, you know, uh, really good in order if you are not able to start on, on campus to start your studies online. We have uh, the same programs, basically, okay? And the reasons to study at EU, as I was mentioning before, uh, we are international, okay? So it's great, like, you know, uh, learning from students from like Mexico, Brazil, China, how cool is that? We have a small class size environment. We, we want to really who know who you are, how to help you to develop your skills, okay? So we have an average uh, in Barcelona and Munich, we have an average of 25 students, 30 maximum per classroom in Geneva, even less around 2025. Uh, experiential business learning. All the programs are taught in English, so you don't have to be worried about, oh, do I have to speak Spanish? Do I have to speak French or German? Okay. Also, it's very important that you know that even coming to a destinations with English is not the first language, it's a very cosmopolitan environment, so you don't really need to worry about Oh, how I'm going to manage on my daily basis, you know? I have friends, I have colleagues that they don't speak Spanish at all, and they are able to manage in the city. So, very convenient. We've been ranked among the best. Uh, you can check this in our website, and I will see in a couple of slides uh, by different institutions, okay, and business magazines. We'll help you to build your business personality. This is very important as the companies, they look for specific profiles, okay? As I was saying, faculty with business experience, and also we have um, 
partnership with over 80 institutions overseas so you can even do more your experience more international okay like a studying we also welcome students from other universities from other countries to do a semester with us so it's very interesting experience so here you can see where students are from so it's quite diverse right so very exciting more things uh here you have two good examples from Namibian students. Uh, does anyone know Daniela or Desire? Well, they can tell you if you know them, how it's been the experience so far in Barcelona and with, uh, with you business school. So they are the, per the perfect testimonials for you really to explain, okay? So here you can see some of the rankings that we hold and this year we have become a uh, part of a uh, omnis education group that is the French leader in private higher education so it's allowing us to offer more international and academic opportunities to our students including exchange programs like uh, they are they are business schools that are located like once in Monaco in United States uh, Ivory Coast U uh, UK or even in France very important. Uh, studying with us, it will give you the opportunity to gain rather a British or Irish uh, qualification through our accrediting partners. Okay, I'm just going to put an example. If you study the Bachelor in Business Administration in, here in Barcelona, you will be gaining one from UCAM, that is a Spanish university, one from, one from U Business School Switzerland, even if you study in Barcelona, and then one from University of Derby. So basically what happens is you can gain, yes, British qualification and study in Europe. This is really cool and exciting. And the great thing is that we follow their curricula. So the program will last three years, okay? Also, we have uh, international accreditations, okay? Uh, like ACBSP or IACVE, they are recognized by TIA that is from United States. We also have accreditations recognized by international bodies and we have qualification checks uh, happening every two years, okay? So which programs do we have? Very important. We have our, our own bachelor's programs, okay? The great thing is that we have four different starting dates. The following one, it will be now the end of July, then at the end of September, then in a in February and then um, in June. So we have, as you see, different majors with communication and public relations, international relations, sports management, digital business, design and innovation. Uh, here we have more. We have bachelor honors in business management. The newest ones are the ones in business technology and supply chain and logistics. In this case, you will have two starting dates, October and February. Then we have Bachelor in Business, okay, like HR, Business Law, Cloud Computing and Information Systems, and also with two intakes. What happens if you don't fit the requirements to start the bachelor's directly with us? Okay, I will explain later the mission requirements. Uh, in your case, we have the Business Bridging Program that basically if the, the student academically can uh, uh, commit our requirements, can do this foundation, it's only one semester, 13 weeks, no one year. Okay, and then you will be able to uh, start your bachelor program. Let's continue. Just to let you know, we have also masters, MBAs, if you want to continue the studies with us. So you see uh, more, more programs available for you in the future. And then with the doctor in business administration. Very important thing. So what happens if uh, still you are not in the time to start a bachelor, but you want to see how is Barcelona, how is studying business in Europe, how is your business school? We have the International Summer School, okay, for next year, 2023. And it's great because you can enjoy the city, you can enjoy business courses, okay? And it's a great experience also to, to make friends and enjoy holidays, I'll say. Okay, here you can see some pictures. Modalities we have on campus, online hybrid so we are very flexible uh, for uh, for our students okay in order to offer the studies uh, it's important for you to let you know that all the classes are recorded so either if you are in the classroom either if you are studying online you can rewatch as many times you need it okay this is very important for you to know here you can see some of the universities that we have partnership like i was uh, mentioning okay in order to extend your studies okay so how cool it will be, right, to finish your studies in New York and expand cross-cultural study abroad experience. 
now let's talk about uh, opportunities that you have to uh, get more immersed with business okay we have learning from leaders I invite you to watch them on YouTube. We have face-to-face -face and also um, in online as we had the pandemic uh, not a long time ago. Okay, here you can see examples from different sectors, different positions. Obviously these people, they didn't just finish the school and then just access to this position, right? So it's very interesting because they interact with our students and you can get to know more through how was that pathway, how is business nowadays, okay? A good example is Omar Verrada. He studied with Husky's bachelor and now he's the chief football operations officer at City Football Club Group in Manchester City. Then here you can see more examples, okay, from Ross, Jason Wu, Louis Vuitton, Doha Bank, and Siemens. Let's continue. One second. Okay, so EU is an official Amazon Web Services Academy, so our students have the opportunity to gain uh, certifications like cloud computing, architecting. We have also the Young Entrepreneurs Club, so you have the opportunity to combine seminars and coaching sessions, okay, uh, projects too. In the past, our students have participated in Change the World uh, model in the United Nations, where uh, a lot of students are arriving as ambassadors, they, they, they are able to discuss uh, current global issues, so very interesting. We also hold different clubs like the business club and the finance club. So this is also very interesting too in, in terms to, to, to have a real world experience in the finance sector and, and, and also we organize more networking events for you. So very important. <laughs> Social activities. Uh, I know that this is quite important. I mean, I've been to Namibia two times and I know how far it is like for you to travel from uh, Namibia, let's say Spain, okay, or Germany. And to have a situation like, oh, I want to have friends, how is going to be my life there? So we want to really uh, provide you the opportunity to get to know people, to have fun. We have uh, official teams for basketball, football, volleyball, and tennis. Okay, uh, we also, um, you'll have also, sorry, the opportunity to practice boxing for fun. Okay, about trips, depending on the campus where you are studying, you can enjoy catamaran sailing, uh, skiing. All the students, what they do is city, uh, city tour, okay, to get more shuttle in the city. For every type, we organize a welcome party, okay? So it's quite fun. And very important also for us is to give back to the society. So we organize also charity events. You have also the opportunity to be part of the student board, okay? In terms to be the student voice, uh, also take part of responsibilities and decisions to implement. So about accommodation, so, and also the cost of living, very important. So. Uh, we have partnership with uh, student residences in every campus, okay? You have also the opportunity to stay in a flat share apartment, in a private apartment, in a studio. In that case, we will provide you for, for that moment uh, trust contact details, okay, in order to do the booking. Here you can see how is the cost of living per month. That means really the budget is the accommodation, okay, depending on the, uh, where you want to stay, okay? So in Barcelona, it's around 100, 1,200 euros. In Switzerland, we're talking about Swiss francs, okay? It's around 1,500, 2,700 Swiss francs. And then in Munich, it's around 1,500 euros, okay? What is important to here to, to, to share it with you is that the salaries are pretty good, okay? So it's quite stable uh, way of living, really, okay? Basically on, on Switzerland, okay? More important, so this is an example about public transportation. I like to share this information because every time that I've been, for example, in Namibia, in South Africa, in Angola, in Mozambique, I know how important is this. So in Barcelona, here you can see we have uh, over 400 bike stations, all spread in the city. You have just the mobile app in your phone and you can just see where bikes available, where you can get one. And it's a very affordable way also to, to move, okay, around. Here you can see we have cycling ways also. So the same case is uh, in Munich and also in Geneva, okay? Like 
with the public transport, like here you can see the metro, the tram, also the, the bus route. In the case of, the, of Barcelona, as is the most visited city in Spain, you can expect a metro or a tram coming like every three, five minutes to the platform from like six in the morning until 12 uh, a.m. So it really gives you the freedom really to get everywhere. OK. Very important thing, uh, visa support. So we my colleagues from admission services, they will provide you support in terms of uh, your visa application. OK. Uh, if you have uh, missing documents, they can re review all the documents that you have in your in your visa application package. What it's important is to apply really in advance. Okay, so you and your family, you do everything conveniently. Okay. Okay. So very important. Every student has assigned an academic counselor. This person will be in the office, okay, in the morning, in the afternoon. That person will take care of your um, timetable, subject. If you feel like you are struggling, okay, with your courses, okay, if you feel like you need uh, uh, support, okay, that person will be there for you. And also if you want to do a campus, a campus transfer. What I missed to tell you before is that you can start your studies in one campus and finish it in another one. Like the business administration is available in all campuses. So you can start, let's say, Barcelona and then finish in Munich. OK, so that's quite exciting, too. OK, right now it's not mandatory to wear masks, but we recommend to wear masks indoors. OK, uh, the moment is only mandatory in the public transport hospitals. OK. So very important thing, a part of the classes is about career services. So uh, they advise you, OK, uh, my colleagues, how to enhance your career prospects and successfully search for meaningful work. So they do one one coaching with every student. So this is very important for you. You have you will have like someone who will advise you about how to develop your public to get that dream job, that uh, entrepreneur idea that you have. OK, so through your students portal, you will have access to job opportunities, internships, they organize workshops uh, about uh, curriculum vitae, interview, how to do a video in a video call over the phone, okay? Because obviously it's not the same, you are not in the same room. Ha, I, I, also what we organize is the talent day, okay? I will play a video in a minute so you will see what it's about, but basically it's to help you to connect with companies, okay? How, is, how important it is to build your network, okay? Uh, for sure, more of, more of most of you, you will have Facebook. So imagine this is professionally, this is very important, okay? Um, so I'm going to play quickly the video. So this is from Barcelona from this year. One second. So you have the opportunity to have face-to-face -face interviews. You have the opportunity to listen advice from uh, recruiters, okay? Uh, because obviously every company, every position, the company looks for a, for a specific uh, profile. You will have also the opportunity to uh, get to know alumni. We, we have alumni coming to speak to our students. You can watch this video also in our YouTube channel, okay? I'm going to continue, one second. Okay, here you can see some of the companies that we are uh, collaborating with. Also, sorry, more uh, is also institutions like the World Trade Organization, United Nations, like I was saying in a sports UEFA. Okay, so here you can see how diverse it is. Okay, and also a startup. So you have the opportunity to visit uh you know uh stadiums sports centers to to get to understand more what is the business about now let's talk about the admission requirements okay so we have different options we rec we require your high school diploma and your transcripts or your current current undergraduate transcripts so it's not necessary that you finish the school to start your application with us okay you can apply for a conditional offer if you are doing IV, we require 24 points. If you are doing Cambridge, we require 
three A levels or two A levels and two A levels with a minimum grade C, where it's uh, 100 for UCAS points. And then you can see also for the American uh, curricula. We also require two letters of recommendation from your academics who want to know how your performance as a student. I write in a video essay, I will be the one sending you the different topics. You can just to choose one. Then a video call interview with me. I want to really have clear that what you want to study is really what is convenient for you and also for you to get to know more about the institution and to solve all the questions that you might have. I'm more than happy also to do this call with your parents. Then a digital photo, a valid passport, an ID card if you are holding a European passport, then a bank certificate or solvency letter, and then an application fee. Depending on the campus, if it's Barcelona, Munich, or online, it will be in euros. If it's Geneva, it will be in Swiss francs, okay? Then about the tuition fees, okay? So basically the academic year is uh, 12,900 euros in Barcelona, Munich and online. And then you have here for Geneva in Swiss francs, okay? 27,600. What is important for you to know is that you can pay this in different payments. It's not just one. So after submitting your application, the first one is 2,000 euros and then you pay by semester your studies, okay? About the scholarships we offer um, on merit base, they are very limited. So it's like kind of competition is from 10 to 30%. If you have a relative uh, in, uh, enrolling after you, or if you are a, a relative from someone that is already with us, uh, you will get a 10% discount. And if you are able to pay the academic year in advance, you will get a 7% discount, okay? All right, so let's talk about our alumni. We have over 27K members. So we organize regular networking events, webinars, presentations, conferences, and seminars. We also, they also do mentoring programs. The great thing is that we do networking with them and how the current students really to understand about how was the, their pathway once they finish their studies with us. And how good is that after five, 10 years, we organize an event and you can meet again your, your colleagues, right? Your classmates. So that's really, really cool too. Uh, here you can see an example of someone who has already finished the study with us, okay, from the DHPS, Marcel. So if you know him, you can also ask questions to him about how was his experience with your business school, okay? So one of the questions, for example, was how we uh, help him, how, was, how does the experience with, with us help him to succeed in his professional life? So he's now he's more able to understand and work with different cultures and encourage diversity and growth. I mean, that is quite important nowadays if you want to work in international business. So about after the studies, okay, uh, the great thing is 93% of our students accept a job offer within six months of graduation. Okay, that means that even before our students are finishing, they are ready really to work because it's not just about before is for us is very important afterwards what happened with you uh 20 percent started their own businesses over 3k alumni linkedin group members we have 20 percent of our alumni return to work in family business i have several cases that they decided to come back home so how important is that to make grow the family business right having another perspective and here you can see the work placement by region now we're going to look in detail so we have uh, alumni from 162 nationalities, 20% CEOs. And what I like a lot is that 54% are women, okay? And here you can see where our graduates have worked in really top companies and also top international organizations, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to share the numbers regarding the bachelors. So 93% are set of offer within six months of graduate after sorry, within six months of after graduation. Here you can see by function and industry, where are they now? So as you see, quite diverse, okay? And here you have our global network, okay? Uh, we are pretty active, so you can see more about us in our daily basis, okay? And here you have my contact details in case that you want to uh, reach me later, okay? I'm more than happy to answer to you.
So now I would like to know if you have any questions, please. Any questions? I have one. Yes. Uh, earlier they mentioned in the slide detailing some of the benefits of going to business school. They mentioned international exchanges. So can I please ask her to elaborate just a bit more on that? Yeah, of course. So, okay, let's go back. So basically what happens is that you can extend your studies uh, with another partners that we have, and you could start a study, for example, a semester in Thailand, in a Stanford International University. So basically what happens is that you can study there and gain more qualifications, okay, from other partners. Any more questions? Looks like an amazing opportunity, don't you think? Um, we, uh, how many A level subjects did you say is required? Oh. Okay, so we require three A levels or two A and two A levels with a minimum grade of C. In total, 104 UCAS points. Okay. Uh, if the student that is not able to achieve 104 UCAS points, okay, it, uh, the student can do the business bridging program that is only one semester. Obviously, they, I encourage the students to study a lot, okay, to do very well, okay, in order to perform their exams. So they, 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 it would be great if they can access directly to the bachelor, but we have options also for the ones that they are not able. Any more questions, guys? Even if it's about the cities, I'm, I'm more than happy to answer for you. Or how is the lifestyle? I'm more than happy. Hmm? Lifestyle in Barcelona? Sorry? Lifestyle in Barcelona? Oh, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. I've been living here for seven years now. And if you are into sports, uh, there, there is a water sports, winter sports. Uh, you, can, you can enjoy music, art. It's very vibrant and, and you get really to know people from other places. It's also well connected for, from another cities of Spain. Like we have a fast train and not even two hours, you can be in Madrid, like say for the weekend. Also the flights are quite affordable if you want to fly to another European cities. So yes, we have so many music festivals like Korea. Uh, I don't know. I, I, think, I think for someone who is active, it's, it's the great destination really, yeah. That's amazing. Um, Regina, thank you so, so much for doing this for us. Uh, Regina is the regional manager of Southern Africa, and you are our contact person if we want to have more information. Is that correct? Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, wait, here's another question. Sorry. Yes, please. It was mentioned that one might want to go to study Barcelona because it is a tech hub, mm -hmm. and that one might also want to study in München because it is a tech hub. So I was wondering, just if you're interested in tech, uh, what's the differences between the two hubs? Um, okay, so if you want to study, do you mean if you, wa you want to study engineering or? I just want to know what's the difference between the two tech hubs. Because you mentioned that they are both tech hubs. You mentioned they're both tech hubs. Oh, oh, yes, because, okay, so basically there are a lot of headquarters in Munich, okay, and it's very interesting for people that are looking really to work in technology. So rather if it's not with EU Business School and you are interested to work in technology, I highly recommend Munich because it's growing a lot and because uh, they, the unemployment rate is so low that a lot of foreign people are going there. In some point, it's, uh, I really advise to, to, you know, for the students to speak German, but really that's, it's not really necessary, but, uh, but yes, like Apple has invested last year, I think it was like $3 billion, $3 billion only. So imagine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. Thank you so, so much for joining us today. And I think if there are any more questions, you guys can, you've got the email there. We will also provide the email and um, then they can ask their questions. Thank you, Regina. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, everyone, for today. Thank you. Thank you.
拜拜。